Today's video is sponsored by the developers of Elsor. Elsor is a free-to-play 2.5D real-time action game that has both player versus enemy gameplay, a story mode, and PvP action, as well as waifus. I mean, you can never go wrong with that, right? It has RPG elements to it in terms of progression and the way the game goes. The game was also very recently updated with huge amounts of content to include a new character called Levy, who has a unique story that is completely separate from the rest. If you're interested, make sure to click the link in the description below to play for free. Now, let's get into the video. What up, everybody? I hope you guys are doing amazing today. Now, for today's video, I'm going to bring you something a little bit different. So I got this video sent a bunch of times to my Twitter. And what this video is about is that apparently is the greatest Piranha Plant gameplay I will ever see. Now, just for some context, this is a tournament between Brood, a very well-known Japanese player, and against Gagged, the best Japanese player. Now, they're facing off in Lucius Finals at a Red Bull event in Japan. So, you know, there's some weight to this tournament. Now, I really want to watch this with you guys, and I want to have some reactions to it. So, let's just, let's just go ahead and watch it. Let's see, let's see what this is about. Now let me just have a little bit of audio here just for background noises, but let's let's get into it. <laughs> so we're going straight to final destination. Pretty uh, pretty pretty standard pick. Gak is a very aggressive player. Uh he doesn't really push back almost any in any capacity when he does anything. I mean, as you can see, he's pretty much right in uh Brute's face, push uh, pushing in. Ball in neutral, not really leading into anything. So he, he's creating some walls with the poison uh fog into the the ball, the spiky ball. Okay, some corner pressure right here. Throws the ball. That, that was a little bit bad because he was a uh, gag was a little too close. Oh, PK Thunder is just destroying Piranha Plant's recovery. Okay, the up beat actually beat the Jojo. That's pretty. Oh, neutral across the. Uh, it's actually pretty notable for the Piranha Plant's uh, recovery to beat that smash attack. That is pretty crazy. Upper. Well, Piranha Plant is very heavy. Brood did not even drift there. He just. He just went with it. That's pretty crazy to me. Up throw right here. Okay. He didn't even tech or anything. That's pretty weird. He didn't even tech or anything. That's uh that's interesting. Okay. Using backer to space out. He's using full hop backer to try to space out. At this point, he wants a little bit more space because he's uh, obviously it's not. I mean, he's behind in the match, so he wants to play a little bit more careful. It makes sense to play a little bit more passive, all things considered. Up smash, up smash, once again, losing to Piranha Plant OB. That's really good then. I guess if you find yourself fighting a hitbox that's dangerous, you could always just up B through it. That is very good to know. So far, Brood is not doing very hot this match, actually. Down and up. I mean, Gak, this looks like it, like the usual Gak match because he usually destroys a big majority of people. He's one of the better players in, in Japan in general. Back throw right here. This might be a three stock, actually. This might be a three stuck. Yo, you're sure you sure you sure I got sent the right video at this point? <laughs> you guys sure I got sent the right video? I mean people were linking this specific video. Many people did. Okay, this I mean this is not a best of one. So we gotta get we gotta give a uh, brood a little bit of time to get into it. Okay, upper, upper didn't didn't kill or anything. Or smash. Okay, we got one kill. Alright, that's the start. That's the start of something beautiful. Dash attack right here, maybe a gimp. Oh, yeah, uses the uh, neutral beat as a juggle tool. I like that when they're directly above you. He has no double jump right here. Grab, maybe? No. Okay. The iron down so you don't get a uh, combo by stuff. Neutral right here. I see a lot of neutral use by Brood. Jab. Oh, he messed up with neutral B a little bit there. Neutral B again. Oh, dash attack. He landed and dash attack. I guess it was a mix up. Uh, Gak wasn't really ready for it in almost any capacity. Portro? Yeah, we want him off the level. <laughs> up smash. Yeah. Oh my god, what a comeback. <laughs> He's actually coming back super well. What is this? Dash attack. Neutral B. Oh, yeah. The neutral B combos into the 40. That's 40% 40 damage. You want to be careful of that Piki Thunder. You'd rather get hit by the Piki Thunder itself than anything else. Piki Flash. Oh, grab. Oh, that was massive damage. Getting that grab with the, with the, with the poison fuck. Oh, that was almost it. That up so much. Would've killed. Oh, up smash. Yep, that hit of up smash. That was a really good comeback. I feel like he really got the handle of the match uh, towards the end. But like at first, 
he was like, how do you play this matchup? But then in the second half, he was definitely much more comfortable. And okay, I'm, you know, I'm even though he lost, I feel like there were a lot of things that he did well. For example, he was doing very good juggles with neutral B. He was doing some combos with fog. He was going for grabs mainly with the fog. The people will stay and the fog of poison and then you will do damage. You know, those things to me, they're valuable. Okay, let's see if we're, we're in a different stage. We're actually going to the exact same stage. I'm not sure if this means if this is because FD is a good stage for Piranha Plant or if there's it's just a comfort pick. Hard to tell this early. Because if it's not like the cat has been out for that long. Yeah. Oh, Gak trying super hard to land any kind of uh, Pikit under pressure. Yeah, uses uses the side magnet as a reverse to pressure because he doesn't have a hitbox. He can actually pressure really well within. Yeah, he actually uh Brood actually is timing the way he upbeats with the little I was gonna say razor leaf. Well I mean it's kinda like razor leaf. Um so then they can trade with attacks that he can get back in a little He's purposely going on stage on stage with it. Also that actually sniped and killed him. I actually didn't expect that to kill that early. I'm actually very, very surprised. Double jab? Okay. I mean, or multi jab, I'm sorry. Or, oh, wait, what? That was a really weird interaction. Neutral here. This might be a game. He might just get down right here. Oh, neutral B. I guess he wanted him to go to the, oh, to the other way. That up so much is ridiculous. Like, if someone is above you, you want to just throw it out there because it's so strong. Like, that, that, that is killing people at like 70, 80 consistently. That is a big deal. Especially because a lot of the good characters in Smash Ultimate, like Pichu, Peach, Olimar, they're all kind of light. So you can actually use Piranha Plant's uh, heavyweight condition to survive more hits. And then the fact that he hits pretty hard, then you can take out stocks early. So you don't have to win neutral too many times to win. That actually is pretty good. Multi jab right here. Okay. He's throwing neutral B above the ledge so then he can try to catch Gak as he's like right in the wall to get on stage. Back throw right here. Nice. Which will be. I was expecting force smash, maybe. I thought he was going to regular, uh, regular get up. Oh, careful. Oh, wow. That just straight up seems to protect you from hits. So you can definitely catch someone off guard. You can definitely, like, set up a juggle or something with that. Yeah, we have a recovery that goes pretty far. Okay, now the, the Jojo beat it. I think the upbeat might have ended uh the attack by the time i got there i think i think the hitbox was definitely in its ending portions down throw for there tech he missed the follow-up oh that was a good mix-up he uh he made it seem like he was going to throw the ball, but then he canceled it and then just jumped immediately. That was a really good aerial mix up. And then the Upsuma had a shield on the roll. Very good. Very good. Very good, Brood. Okay. Okay, Brood. Okay. I see you. All right. I think we're going to have to go to a different stage at this point. I don't think uh, Gak will stake on the same stage. We're probably talking about bands right now. Okay, pretty standard pick. Now, the reason I see Ness uh, going for a stage like this, I think it's mainly because the platform helps you land and it gives you some mix ups. I know in Smash 4, the reason Ness will pick Smashville was because the platform will give you some cheesy uh, throw kill confirms and then. Um, the platform will always help you recover much easier than without a platform. But uh, since we play uh, Hazards off, we don't no longer have, have the uh, moving platform anymore. Up throw. Yeah, so far the platform is really allowing um, Gag to shark under a little bit more, making his neutral a little bit easier. Oh, that was a really good way with the side magnet to get the backer going. 
No chill right here. Up smash. Oh, very nice mix up here. He definitely went onto the platform and tried to call him out because he fast fold through the platform and then he baited Gak real big time. That was a really good way to use up smash in a tricky way. And he got, got him the early kill. He went all the way there with Piggy Flash. He'll probably get him back through here. I'm surprised he didn't just go for like up smash or a stronger hit. That was not the strongest thing you could have gotten that that I hit with. Oh my god, Piranha Plant is so heavy. Hey, you can just keep coming back. It's hard to kill him sometimes. He's definitely focusing so much on neutral B as a juggle tool. Then he waits with the uh, with the fog. No textures out of it. Neutral B. Oh, that is safe. That is unsafe and block. Good to know though, because if it, that was safe on blog, I would have been like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I would have definitely, definitely been a little surprised. The be above everything. Yeah, Gak missed the timing a little bit to deflect it, but Jeff here, yeah. I'm thinking back air, the ball, or up smash are the kill options that he's looking for. Yeah, he's looking for up smash. So he was waiting for, he was waiting for Gak to somehow, uh, somewhat land into him. Or throw it here, nice. Nice. You can definitely use the ball consistently for kill setups. He's gotten two very important kills throughout the set. This kill on game three, huge because it's the best of three. Oh, the classic. Oh, he almost survived. If Brad Plant survived, I would have been in shock. Because Piki Thunder 2, the, the rocket is 2, um, it's just way too strong and it can kill most characters in the game like at like regular percents like like 30, 40. I said Brad Plant survived that. He almost did though. Plant almost did. Jab? Oh, so Optil has very low cooldown, so you can sort of like bait an air dodge and then jab or dash attack. It's really good actually. That move has um has grounds to actually be used quite a bit here. Porto. Porto definitely seems like a snappy, quick ground punish. Like when you need to hit them when they're right next to you on the ground. Definitely the tool to go for. Oh, that neutral be almost hit. You put the um the fog right there. Weird spot to put it. I feel like you always want to put it on the ground, not in the air. Oh. oh, he didn't die. Oh, he missed. Oh, what's going on? Oh, grab. That was a very good grab. Yeah, that was top level, top level, top player. Oh, oh, hit him under the ledge. Yo, what a snipe. What a snipe. That was good. That was a little bit of massive choke there by uh, by Gak, but I mean, that was still good. I think this might just be the very first, uh, I want to say, like, top player win uh with uh where prana plan like in tournament like beating beating one of the very best japanese players who you know has done amazing on a bunch of events in japan japan is one of the very best regions in the world you know smash ultimate doing it with prana plan i think is very impressive especially because gak literally just placed nest played only nest in the previous game was very successful too placed only nest in this game so i mean i think it's it pretty much says uh, a win and brood generally plays Characters like Olimar and you know and Richter and characters that are more projectile based. So for him to play a character out of his zone, I think it is pretty impressive. Good win. Good win. This is definitely the best gameplay I've seen of Piranha Plant so far. I think the character may be slightly better than maybe I envisioned at first. But like I said, you know, like I didn't really see too much of the character. Nobody was really using him. This is like the first um thing that I've seen out of Piranha Plant doing well at an event, doing well at high level play. So we'll see. Maybe we get more snippets of this maybe the character is a little bit better or maybe he is uh maybe he is underrated or maybe he or maybe we are too hopeful and maybe he's not as good i guess we'll find out thank you elsor once again for sponsoring this video if you're interested in checking out this cool free to play game make sure to click the link in the description below with that said thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys around in the next one bye bye take care everyone